trying to uh, get these blown up on my own, but it was really hard to do. I don't really know why. Um, it was in the gallery, of course, in my phone, but I went to Walgreens to use that kiosk, uh, the picture kiosk, and for some reason, it just wouldn't work. So I transferred these pictures to uh, the person who worked there, phone, and it, I saw it in his gallery, but it's still, it just didn't work. So, and these were Apple. These were, were um, Apple phones. So I sent it to a friend of mine that has an Android, yeah, and with no problem, got them done in an eight by 10. So. I gotta go find some beautiful frames for these so I can have them framed and keep one for myself to cherish and of course give one to my Bethany. So, please, can't wait. I know she's gonna be excited. Even though she saw the picture, she's gonna be excited. So, stay tuned. <laughs> I have shopping, shopping, shopping to do today, guys. Uh, I've been up early, kind of tired still, but I'm up and I'm going to get my day started. So I'm going to go shop. I think I found uh, the perfect place to get the seafood. I was kind of debating about that, but it's a place called uh, the St. Paul's Fish Market here downtown in the Third Ward um, by the Milwaukee Marketplace. I'm going to go there and I think it most of the seafood. Um, my sister wants some Dungeness crab. So, if anybody out there, if you're from this area, know where to get some Dungeness crab, they may have it there. Let me know. Okay. <laughs> I want everything to be perfect for her. I even made her greens. I think I put it in the video yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, because this, this video is going to come out tomorrow. So, yesterday. But anyway. Let me know um, if there's anywhere here you can get Dungeness Crab. All right, everybody. See y'all. This was not supposed to be a video. It's supposed to be a picture. <laughs> you guys, I have been on such a roll, okay? I have already gotten the stuff pretty much. Hello. <laughs> That's okay. Anyway, y'all, I already got the stuff. So now I'm just looking for my little stuff. But um, I don't really need to get nothing. This is what I just want. Well, the only thing I got that was not on the list are the pasties, okay? I had one of these the other day. But it was from the actual store. It was hot. It was good. So I got two of those. And that's the only thing that's not on the list. This is everything else. Eggs. You guys know we need eggs. Okay, the sweet corn. We have four in here, which we're going to cut these in half. Make them mini. Um, and sauce, sausage. I do like the Andouille sausage, so I think this is a good brand. She wanted different color. Bell peppers. There they are. We wanted some cucumbers. Got the cucumbers. Um, some lemons. Y'all yeah, know she gotta have her lemons for her lemon rain. And some gourmet petite reds. Okay, so these are the red potatoes. Got four bags of these because I thought they were super cute and tiny and just cute. So um, that's it. Uh, I got the Hawaiian punch. She wanted Hawaiian punch. I got that. That's in the car. And that is it. The only thing I have to do now, guys, is actually buy the uh, the meat. The meat. And I figured out where to go get that. So I'm going to probably go shop for that tomorrow. This is going to be it for today. So I'm going to go and shop for the meat tomorrow, guys. Because I want it to be fresh as possible you know for her so and me shit <laughs> but anyway guys stay tuned in oh lord this 
line is always a trip. <sighs> Can't think of anything. I guess I'll have to eat out again tonight. Because I have to put those greens up there. I have to stop myself from eating those greens because I didn't make that many. I knew that one bowl was going to lead to two like it did. Then it led from two to three. Uh, after three bowls, I put everything in a big Ziploc bag <laughs> away from me. Okay, so I'll get some Friday night. Anyway, okay, guys, stay tuned. So I just got my little lashes done, y'all. Got my shopping done for today. I just didn't go get no, um, get the meat yet. I'm gonna go get it though. Ooh, fancy. Guess I'll be wearing makeup and stuff after this, y'all. So that's another one I'm going to have to make. I'm going to have to go to Ulta and get some makeup. And I think I'm going to go with the Bare Mineral because I had that last time I was wearing makeup. And um, I like that, you know. I, I don't want, like, that wet, gooky foundation. I mean, you got... Everybody know that I've been kind of just plain faced for a while, and um, yeah, I don't want no overload of makeup on my face. You know, I'm I'm gonna get some makeup, and I'm gonna wear a little bit, but uh, it gotta be natural. And yeah, I can't I can't do all the extra stuff. I was thinking of that contour and all that. Yeah, I just got my little brows done, honey. I probably get some filler to fill those in a little bit. Okay, make them a little bit darker. Okay, lady did cut me up there, but I put some Vaseline on it, it should be okay. But, um, I'm just thinking of powder, natural makeup. Okay, so I ain't gonna get too much. Maybe some nice lipsticks, maybe some nice eyeshadows. That's, that's gonna be about it. <laughs> I know Bethany was telling me something about some finishing spray or something like that. Um, but I thought that's what you use primer for. You know, you put the primer on to make the makeup stay. But I guess she said it. she has some that smells really good. And I guess it just sets the makeup too. So I'm going to ask about that. But anyway, I'm going to go to Ulta when I do that. So stay tuned in. Okay, thank you. Okay, y'all. So I got that uh, number three burrito supreme from here. Y'all got to have a snack. I'm hungry. Good. So, let me do that. So, I'm going to snack on real quick and then I'll be back in business. <laughs> back in business. I am about to eat because I'm hungry, y'all. This is not really a Taco Bell video. This is just kind of like a vlog video. That's it. A little alcohol. Right. So that's what this is. What do I do with my damn purse? Damn. What do I do with it? Shh. Oh, damn. Hungry. Got it back there. Hmm. Anyway. Hungry. This is one of their freezers. Pineapple. A pineapple freezer. Looks good. So I wanted to try it. You know, I really love the, the different type of drinks that a lot of these places we have in like Burger King and McDonald's. Tastes like soda. Mm. Maybe it's a spritzer. Y'all, I could not help but feeling like I got um some damn umbrellas, you know, like on my damn eyes because I mean, I was wearing my <laughs> my magnetic lashes, but I think, I don't know, I think they were short. I think all of those were short. These are medium, and it just feel like I got a roof, you know, a little umbrella, you know, uh, damn. I feel like I got a little roof over my, my eyes and shit. I, I got to get used to it again. <laughs> I remember at one point, y'all, I couldn't. I had to have my lashes. Like, I could not do 
without my lashes, okay? I needed my lashes, just period, in my life. Every two weeks, I was just getting them done, just period. I couldn't even, like I said, see myself without lashes. Away from here. I couldn't see myself without lashes. They put a lot of stuff on here. Ooh, way I like that. So this is a burrito and a taco. I'm holding on because I don't want to mess my car up. But that's what it's looking like, guys. Just like that. I hope y'all can see it. I know I was hungry too, but it is good. A mm -mm. quick snack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll probably just eat this too. Mm -hmm. People may not like that. That's too bad. She was causing me a lot of extra work, honey, that needed to be done around the house. I mean, sometimes I don't really like, I'm going to be honest, I don't really like to deep clean my house. Like all that woodwork and all that. I don't like doing that. That cat, because she was white, had white and gray, you know, white and gray, but a lot of white hair clumps would just be all over my floor. After I would clean it and sweep it and mop it and sanitize it, it would look so nice. I would be so happy, like, for the first two days after I would do that. But then, you know, you just see the clumps of hair, white hair, all over the floor. I'm talking about all over the floor, and no, I, no, I don't want to keep having to sweep that every day. This shit was getting on my nerves, so she had to go. Mmm. Oh my damn, double cream came out. Mmm. -mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Little messy. Mm -hmm. Exclusive 414. What, what type of stuff they got in there? I heard of it, but I ain't never been in there. Exclusive. 414, huh? Damn. Mm -hmm. My damn hip itching. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, you all, I had my girlfriend, Dandra, helping me mm. with my t-shirt. 
doing my little t-shirt business. And I said it before in a different video. I was so wrong <laughs> to think all I had to do was download an app and um, select a t-shirt company and just start the business. I was wrong, y'all. Well, it took some time. It took a little process. Mm. She was telling me how many hours she put into, you know, getting this done. And I was just so appreciated because I couldn't have did it by myself. You know, I wouldn't have even known where to start, to be honest. So, thank you, Sandra. I so appreciate you and all the hard work and all your efforts and energy. Thank you. But she called me today, guys, earlier and told me that um, I can go check out my website. And I think it was, I don't even know what the link is. I, I have it written down. But when I did go to it, I, I couldn't see anything. Like, I couldn't find anything. So I think she fixed that now. So I'm going to go check again a little bit later. Hmm. This is different. It's good, though. good it is good okay y'all i'm gonna eat this too at least take a couple bites i'm not that full i'm not that full yet so i need to eat a little some a little more probably a lot more but i'm hungry But I know I feel good because I'm getting knocking my shopping list for my sister back. That make me feel good. I'm getting it done. Everything perfect for her. Everything perfect. Mm. Oh, damn. Going everywhere but on the damn burrito. Okay. Mm. That's good, but I'm through. Damn, that sauce really got me at the end. Oh, that's hot. done with this little segment of the video the eating part now I think I'm gonna go actually no I ain't I'm going home because no I ain't going home yeah, I'm, I'm going go somewhere yeah. I don't know I ain't get my money yet y'all I'm gonna get my, my rent today I ain't get it yet Got my cousin Sean peeing on y'all. Probably can't see cousin Sean right there. My cousin that just passed away. Got his peeing on today. But um, oh girl, I ain't gave my money yet, y'all. Uh, <clears throat> trust and believe, I could have easily took that little 150 and went to Alto and got my little face together, you know, with that little money. Okay, could have got everything I needed because I'm only gonna get like. A couple of different color lipsticks and uh, I don't got no makeup I, I let the the kids play with my makeup last time they spent the night um Nene and Boppy I let them play with the little makeup that I did have left because I I knew I was gonna get new makeup so 
Mm. So anyway, y'all. Damn. Mm. I'm gonna get going, everybody. And it's gonna be the end of this little segment. Like I said, I'm gonna call a girl, see what's up with the money. So, you know, I can um, know what's going on. You know, what gets me? Now I have to say this, okay? What gets me is, you know, like y'all was saying, and, and like what I say, communication is everything. It's just everything, you know? If you know that you're not going to be able to give me the money like you have been at a certain time, just communicate that and let me know that. Like, I'm not going to sweat her down, you know, but I just want to know because that helps me plan my day or whatever, you know, and that's all I'm saying, y'all. I mean, I hope y'all can understand what I'm saying, you know, and don't think that I'm being too hard on her. But I did talk to her this morning. Matter of fact, I asked her to go shopping with me, you know, just so I can have an extra hand to help me with the stuff. But I'll get it done. But it's just that we talked this morning. And she never said, well, she did say this. She did say that she would call me when she was on her way. But I really don't know what the hell that means. Like, I don't know what that means, girl. You know, you go your way and I'm going my way. I ain't heard from her. And all I'm saying is I think it's after 1 o'clock in the afternoon now. And so, you know, I've been up and gone for a while because I just like to get things done. And this is one of those things. I want to go ahead and go on the altar and go on and get this damn makeup so that I have it. Make sure it's all, everything's right, you know. But, damn, I mean, you know, I thought we had it worked out. I thought, you know, she, she has not been late with a payment. Um, she has paid. But it's just that I just need her to communicate and let me know if she's going to be late like she is today. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I don't think it's all that complicated. But, you know, just tell a person, hey, I'm going to have the money later. Or, you know, I have it for you tonight. Just tell me something. Just let me know something. And I'm cool with that. Like, okay, cool. I'll just make way and make do with what I got until, you know. I get my money, but uh, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna get what I need any damn way. Don't get me wrong. Now, I got the money to get whatever I need, but it's just that it's the principle of it. It's just the principle of it. So, mm. damn it! Well, I think I was supposed to do this, not this, right? Damn. <laughs> I'm going back here to her. This was my roommate's room, as y'all can see. All her stuff was sitting on this table. It's gone now. Okay. She then came and got all her shit. Y'all. Then came and got all her little shit. I think it's quite sad. Didn't tell me anything this morning. <laughs> y'all, it's so sad. It's sad. Yeah, guys, I just think it's super sad that you try to help somebody and they do shit like this. But you know what, though? I wasn't helping because I needed the help, like, financially. I was trying to help her. So, it is what it is. But she did not pay her $150 today. I talked to her this morning. Like I said earlier, talked to her this morning. And, um, you know, I thought that everything was cool last week. Thought we had an understanding. You know, she did pay. She did pay the $150. Well... 140 at first, but then she came back and she did give me the other 10 later that night. She did. And um, I thought it was cool, y'all, uh, you know, for for this week and for the weeks to come. But uh, I guess we weren't because, you know, maybe this girl having some financial problems, y'all, that I don't know about, you know. Uh, the tea is that she was uh, on Potawatomi real tough. Okay, now that's the tea. All right, now, hey, she did admit that she gambled, but I didn't know to what extent. You know, a gambler, a, a real gambler, not gonna tell me. 
You know, I ain't going to tell you <laughs> to what degree their gambling problem is. Because had I known that, she probably would have never been in here. But obviously, it's bad, y'all, because she didn't even last two months here. Okay? So, yeah, she obviously came in when I just... Now, I was here about 20 minutes ago. I had to go to run to Walmart for a blank run. That's a whole other story. But when I came back, because Walmart is real close to here, but when I came back, her key was on, you know, the ground uh, in the hallway. Because I had texted her and told her, hey, I have changed, or I'm getting my locks changed. Okay? Told her that. Then I sent her another text telling her, you know, um, you don't even have to bother with coming up with the money because it is, you still just got to go. Because I just feel like, damn, I shouldn't have to hunt nobody down, you know? Everybody knows that they cannot live anywhere for free. Most people know that. So I don't know what the issue is, guys. I honestly don't know because she didn't tell me. This is how she chose to leave. So I got my key back so I don't have to change the locks, even though I probably still will because I don't know if she made a copy. I'm funny like that. Even though she still couldn't get in because sometimes, guys, when I put my knives in the doors, if I'm here... Ain't nobody going to be able to get in, even with a key. Because there was plenty of times she couldn't get in this upstairs door right here. She couldn't even get in that door. A lot of times when I had that knife in there, I would have to come to the door still and take the knife out. So, it's cool. At least I know where we stand now. I think it was a very punkish, okay, way to leave. Like, I, I just think that's some complete bullshit. But what can I say? I don't know this girl's circumstances, you know. Maybe she got some more shit going on that is more important than a place to live. Uh, okay. Anywho, y'all. Just have to let y'all in on the update. Y'all know I'm going to always let y'all know what's going on. You know, for the most part. For the most part. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Just sad. It's just so sad. It's just so sad. You know, communication is everything. If this girl just would have came to me and said this or said that, you know. But she didn't. And this was the second time that she did that. So, obviously, because to me, you're trying to be sneaky and hide something when you're just trying to dodge around and not communicate and talk. Okay. If a person had the money, they would have said, okay, I, I got the money. Or I'm going to go get the money. I'll be back at so-and-so time. It's about communicating which well, she clearly did not, okay? So, it is what it is. Super sad, but... Okay, y'all, I'm gone. Off to the damn next. <laughs> Just know, I'm not gonna miss a motherfucking beat, though. At the end of the day, period, okay? <laughs> okay, so basically, guys, I just got a text from her saying that... She was saying, "Have I asking me, have I noticed that she's been to the hospital in the past, like three times in the past week. And I'm like, no, I haven't noticed because first off, I hardly see her, okay? And I really don't eat after her or anything, guys. Um, I think I might, we might have shared a cigarette like when she first came. But I tried to get tested this week, Monday, okay? from my doctor because I had a doctor's appointment so I just asked her you know can I just go ahead and get tested just to you know see if I'm positive or negative and she said if you don't have symptoms don't get tested and she basically told me I was healthy which yeah I feel healthy but I'm just saying you know people say that you can have that damn virus and not have any symptoms so she just basically sent me a text saying that she hoped that I go and get tested soon, that she's out trying to get a hotel. I don't understand that part. How can you try to get a hotel? Either you get it or you don't. She says she's been to a lot of churches trying to get help. She said that if she died, there's nobody to bury her. So I hear some con in this shit, y'all. Not trying to be cruel. But I hear some kind up in this shit. And all I know is that uh, my hair's probably going to be white again. Matter of fact, I had a, a bad rash right here from spraying so much bleach, y'all. Let me tell y'all. 
the way I just sanitized my house, <laughs> baby, the room that she was in, I have sprayed all that shit down with bleach, open the window just and close the door, just let it air out for days. I will not go back in there, okay? Will not allow nobody in that back room, okay, period. But it's sanitized though, but still, just still. And I went over, I came downstairs um, and started with the screen door and the knob inside, outside, the doorbell, all the steps, the banister in the hallway, all the shoes, anything that's in that hallway, the doorknobs to the doors, to the front door, up and down, um, the kitchen. She didn't eat a lot, thank God. She wasn't in the kitchen that much, but she did drink a lot of coffee. I went in the cabinet spraying bleach. Okay, spray bleach on the doorknob to her bedroom, in my bathroom, the toilet knob, the, the lights, just everything. Because, yes, I am a fanatic when it comes to that. And now that I know that someone that think that they may have that virus has been in my house, of course I had to go and sanitize it the way I did. So, you know, I don't wish no bad on nobody. You know, it's unfortunate if this is the case with her. Um... I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I, th I think it's dope. I think it's some dope. If it ain't no dope, is she back on that damn Potawatomi? Okay. And I'm not saying that, you know, she may not be positive or not, but you know what? I still, like I said, I sent some bullshit in the game, you know, because it was bullshit out the gate. Okay. Before it was any type of bringing this issue up. First off, when was this lady gonna bring this shit up to me? You know, I know that she had a very bad cough. I'm talking about the type of cough that'll uh, spoil your appetite, because it did. We went to George Webb and her cough spoiled my appetite. I had to get my food to go. It was that nasty. I think I talked about that. Um, I know she got a terrible cough, and I've told her, you need to have that checked out. She says something about um, if she went to the ER, it would affect her job some type of way. If you care about your health, fuck your job. You go take care of you, Okay. So I couldn't understand that logic there, okay? So, y'all, at this point, I don't know what's going on. Um, but I think I want to go get tested now, I swear. I think it, I think it's the right thing for me to do. Um, even though I ain't got no symptoms, though, I'm going to be honest. Because when she would, and it wasn't very often, but when she would come in the living room and sit down, my Lysol and stuff stay on my table, y'all. My alcohol, my Lysol. I still sprayed when she got up, sprayed my pillow, sprayed that whole couch because that's just how I am. So even if she do have it, you know, that's bad and it's unfortunate, but you know, I, I haven't been feeling ill. Trust me, if I feel sick, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you because you guys going to be right with me when I go get tested. And if I have to isolate myself and stuff, I'm going to do what I have to do. But what I'm saying is my doctor told me that you shouldn't get tested if you don't have any symptoms. So, this is a crazy situation. Um, I'm definitely not letting nobody else in my house. I don't give a fuck what is going on. I don't care what the situation may possibly be, uh, how much money they got, which it was never a money issue. I don't care, man. I do not give a damn. I ain't doing it. I am doing it. I will stay solo. I, the cat gone. I guess it was time to get rid of everybody in the house. And that's what has happened. So that's fine. I got some money right here, y'all. I'm going to go pick somebody up out here so that they can help me. Or not help, but clean. Do all the fine cleaning in this house. Because that's what it needs. I need it to be dusted. All that natural wood and stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go, y'all. I just have to come back and tell y'all that. So... See y'all later. Mm. I just have to say this, you know, it's just awfully motherfucking funny that a bitch get the COVID on payday. You know, a bitch got the COVID now that they couldn't come up with the money. You know, now she'd have been at all type of churches and shit like that trying to isolate herself. How the hell you try to get a hotel room? Either you get that bitch or you don't. This bitch is on straight bullshit. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm, I'm a BI. I'm going to have somewhere to live. You better believe that. <laughs> Bitch got the COVID now <laughs> on payday. <laughs> wow.